you so much, Gary. Thank you. Well, thank you all. It's a pleasure to be here, and uh, we're, uh, you know, here in our district, we're doing the job that we were elected to do, and it's a pleasure to be here with both uh, Ashley Henson and with minority, minority leader Kevin McCarthy. Uh, you know, it's very important that people realize what's going on. So we have elections, and people need to have trust and faith and confidence in their elections. And I think it was just recently over the weekend the Quad City Times editorial said that this move will undermine confidence in our election system. So we in Iowa worked very hard in a uh, bipartisan way to put forth election law changes. Um, I have an opponent who was a state senator who if she thought that the rules and regulations were disenfranchising voters at any point in time during her six years in the state senate could have put forward election law changes and she declined to do so. So we had an election. I was ahead on election night. I was ahead after the 24 county canvas. I was ahead at the end of the recount, which is a bipartisan three member board that had the opportunity to view and eyeball ballots and they did so. And at the end of that process was still ahead. I was then certified by the state and a bipartisan five member executive council certified that result. I've been sworn into Congress and on swearing in day, January 3rd, there was a motion made not to seat members. And the Democrats, every single Democrat in Congress voted that every person being sworn in was in fact the elected representative for that state. No one contested that election. So what's happening now when you have someone decline to go through their court that can look at contested ballots? Think about this. You or I, ordinary citizens, if we had a grievance, we'd have to go through court to settle that grievance. We couldn't go to a member of Congress and say, you know, I didn't like the results. They counted and recounted and recounted, but it didn't come out the way I want. So can a partisan political process body overturn that result? And that's what's happening here. But in the meantime, I'm going to do my job as a congresswoman. I'm going to give vaccines as a doctor. I'm going to visit. I'm going to work on bills. We're going to work on border issues. We're going to work on opening our schools, on child care workforce, on putting forward amendments to get children vaccinated at the, or tested at the border for COVID-19 before they're sent to the interior. We're going to keep working and serving the people of Iowa as we go through this process. But people should be outraged. It's not personally me. It's a seat in Congress. And if our votes don't count in Iowa, if six votes aren't enough to win an election, then why are six members on a committee able to overturn an election? Rita Hart herself said, I had to skip over the courts and go to Congress to get the result I need. And her attorney said in his filing to the House Committee on Administration that the committee should use its full discretion to depart from Iowa law. No one, I don't care where you live, what party you are, no one should be okay with violating state laws to get the results of an election that they want. We should all be outraged at that. So it's been a pleasure to be with you. It's a pleasure to be here with both Michelle and with Kerry and with Representative Henson and Representative McCarthy. And I'm going to uh, turn it over to Representative Ashley Henson to say a few words as well.